Welcome to the Forcepoint Next Generation Firewall. Today, I'll be doing a brief demo on how to deploy multiple single firewalls with Forcepoint SMC. If your company don't have IT resources at each location, you can leverage the Forcepoint mass deployment to configure multiple sites at the same time. Okay, to start configuration, go to New, Firewall, Multiple Single Firewalls. Here you have the option of choosing the proof of serial codes, cut and paste, or if you don't have it, you can enter that letter. You can select the number of single firewalls. If you put your mouse inside the box, you see that you have the option of configuring up to 1000 firewalls. In this case, let's do five. And you can base it on an existing uh, profile. Next, you see that the name of the firewall and the log servers and the DNS information. You also have the option of adding additional IP address of the DNS servers or the names. Next, click next. Here we see that the name for each firewall is already pre-configured, but you also have the option of double-clicking inside the box and changing the name to your own naming convention. At the, in the co comment section, you also have the option to add a comment for each firewall. Click Next. Over here, you see the information of the interfaces. Here we see that interface 0 is for internal, interface 1 is for ISPA, interface 2 is for ISPB, and in case of failure, we also have a modem. This is based on the prototype configuration, so you do not need to reconfigure uh, the information. All you have to do is review the information and go to the next window. Over here, we see that the networking information for each firewall is configured in sequence. We also have two ISP connections for high availability and load balancing purposes. We can also leverage these capability for our VPN connection. And we click Next. Over here, you also have the option of adding additional information if you want to. Let me just expand it so you can see the configuration. Here we have the option of adding a NATing information. We go to the next option. In this window, we have the option of defining um, additional configuration properties. You can bypass that, but let me show you one thing that's useful to add, which is the link status. If a link goes down, you'll get an alarm. Okay, you see it here. In this section, we have the capability of adding a policy for the administrators. This window, you can enable HTTPS inspection and user logon information. Okay, next. As you can see, information about our VPN is already predefined and we will configure it to be used as our prototype. In this case, ISP Multilink and USB modem as a standby mode. Here we just check the configuration. Here we select the policy, and then we finish to create the firewalls. completed so we go back to the home view and once completed you will notice multiple firewall profiles to be deployed and with our cloud installation we can easily deploy factory default appliance by simply connecting the cables and powering them up so let's complete our installation with a VPN configuration so all you have to do is drag and drop the new firewall 
and it will automatically be integrated into your existing VPN. So this is the far VPN section we edited. We go to the gateway. You see the name of the new firewalls. We just click it and drag it to be added. Once the appliances are delivered to the branch office and connected, it will pull the configuration automatically from the cloud and go home to the SMC. So this concludes today's brief overview of Forcepoint multiple site deployment. For more information about Forcepoint network security products, please visit www.forcepoint.com slash NGFW.